Hi there, and welcome to a unique program called The Change Series. I'm Scott Tuzana. And I'm Steve McNamee. Wherever and however you're watching this program, it may truly change your life. We've heard a lot in the last few years about the power of intention and how to manifest a life that you want, and we think that those are positive ways of living, but there are many powerful skills and strategies available for you to program the life that you deserve. You're about to step into the ring and go head-to-head -head in a 10-round battle to win over your subconscious mind. Your opponent is the negative programming that has been instilled in you since birth. This is not some mystical power of the universe. This is basic psychology and a mindset that every one of us can control, but few of us have ever been taught. The experts that you're about to hear from are some of the top performers in their various fields of achievement. They're in your corner, and they are going to reveal their insights into how to program your mind for success. Before we begin, the first key to programming your mind for success is to understand the nature of what you seek, change. We hope that you'll keep an open mind and allow yourself to begin your journey of change. We'll be back after your first step. Understanding the nature of change. Change is about learning. I believe that human beings are programmed to learn and that we are learning animals. And when we honor the fact that we're learning animals, then we change, we evolve. And I also believe that part of why we're here is to evolve. And in order to evolve, you have to change. You can't, you can't stay static. You can't stay in one place if you want to evolve. So. That's what changes for me. It's evolution, it's learning, it's developing, it's, it's becoming who you, I, am really supposed to be and stepping into our power. Change is life. Without change, life cannot happen. We're in a constant state of flux. We're in a constant state of adaptation. So what's more empowering to me is to consider what the opposite of change is, which is death. So it's ironic that people are fearing the very thing that empowers their life, which is change. You, the only time you do not change is in death. After that, you know, I mean, after some people believe in a spiritual awakening, but at that point you're not changing. Some people believe nothing happens at that point you're not changing. So the only time in existence that change is not occurring is in death. So why do we fear change when it is life? I think it's the ability to be able to uh, look at how you're doing things and decide if you're happy with them and then if you're not happy with them look at what you'd like to have happen differently and what you need to do differently to achieve that and a lot of people seem to be very fearful of change and I don't really understand why because I absolutely thrive on it I love it most people are brainwashed most people just go along with the mob believe what the mass media what politicians what actors in Hollywood tell them and that's the way they live their life based on that instead of controlling their own subconscious and uh, how they react to change. So that control of perception of change is very important. It's not change itself, it's there. Whether you ignore it or not, uh, or, or embrace it or not, it's there, it's not going away. Uh, ignorance is not going to make your life easier, uh, but the more somebody embraces it and learns to control how they view change, can't control change, but control your perception, then that's gonna empower you. Change is not only the desire to move from the place that a person is now to a target that they have or a goal that they have, a new destination. Uh, it's not just the desire. <laughs> it's actually moving. It's actually having something happen. And I think that's the place where too much gets stuck. Uh, that's, that's the big uh, place where people tend not to connect the dots. Change. I believe change is a mindset. Um, it's, a, it's a choice in the moment. And a lot of people can say, uh, well, I'm working on this, I'm, I'm going to make a change one of these days. But I feel once they are ready for a change, it happens in an instant. So I believe it's a choice that, that uh, occurs, and once that choice is made, change occurs in their life. It's like a shark. Woody Allen said, if sharks, they have to keep moving or they die. And I believe that human beings need to keep changing or they stagnate completely. And it's, the world is in a constant state of change and the rate of change is accelerating. And I think if you can embrace that, then your life will be much more exciting and you'll be a lot more fulfilled because you won't be worried about anything that happens to you. You'll have the ability to know you can cope. What is productive change? What is desired change? Those are 
not just moving anywhere, but moving towards where you would like to be, where your passions lie, where your purpose lies. So you understand that change is the reality that we always live with. We must change. It is the nature of things. But how do we affect what our choices are? How do we shape the change that we desire? Let's listen to what our experts think about the role that our mindset plays. Change is mindset, and mindset is change. I mean, you change your mind, you change your life. You know, the whole saying, well, I think I want to change my mind about that. Well, quite often, it's your mind changed you. And so you have to decide whether you're going to be in charge or your mind's going to be in charge.